marking and cutting out a rafter. For this job, we'll need a square, a saw, a couple of bevels, a pencil, and a tape or ruler. In this case, we'll be using a roofing table. The ratios on the roofing table are transferred to this bevel board. One bevel will be set to the plumb cut. Be sure to set it accurately. Tighten it up and check it. The second bevel is set to the seat cut. Again, we set it accurately. Tighten it up. And then check it. The plum cut is marked across the face of the material to be cut. A line is then squared across each edge of the material. The rafter length is then calculated from the roofing table. It's measured along the top edge of the rafter. The mark is squared across the edge Again the plumb cut is marked from the edge across the face of the material. Accurate measuring and marking is essential. The datum height is the measurement from the top edge of the rafter down to the seat cut. It is usually between two thirds and three quarters of the length of the plumb cut. The seat cut is then marked at 90 degrees to the plumb cut. The off cut can be marked. and the line squared across the bottom edge of the rafter. Marks can be used to show the off-cut material. The shortening is then marked at the top end of the rafter back from the plumb cut. This measurement allows for half of the ridge thickness. The shortening is marked and the off cut is made apparent. Square the marks across the edges and we're ready to cut out our rafter. The material needs to be supported either on saw stools, clamped to a bench or in this case being a model we're using a bench hook. Now whether using a power saw or a hand saw the cut is made on the off cut side of the line. As you know, the aim is to leave half the line on. The cut is checked for square. The 
it's also checked for accuracy using the bevel. The bird's mouth is now cut out. And there we have our rafter. As you know, the overhang is cut after installation using a chalk line and the plum cut bevel.